How about that? Whole aisle in full action. Just saw a diver leaving. It might have been somebody moving, but right there, we have ourselves a bicycle where you put your back tire on it, you know, for like a 10 speed or a road bike, mountain bike, and you can cycle in your garage. That might be worth some bucks. Let's go grab that bad boy. I'm definitely going in for a closer look. I don't know if I've ever seen this in my entire life, but okay. We're not really looking at this uh, tree. This tree right here is beautiful, but, and it's a big one. That's an expensive tree in a pot. That's for like someone's backyard, but there literally is four office chairs stacked up right down that center. Someone must have shut down a business. That is cra That whole row has office chairs down the middle of it. I'll tell you what, that's pretty random for a Friday night, but I just had a hankering that that complex was gonna be hot. And when you got that hankering, you gotta go double dip into that Big Mac of a hankering, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Sleep Slot, hopefully we'll go grab him. I told him about it. Wow, look at that action right there. Look at that, Woo! big Mac attack. You know what I'm saying, looking real good right there. On the way home from the gym right now, of course. I gotta get some grub in the books. Some grub-a-dub-dub -dub in my tub a tub tub tummy, that is. So hopefully Mr. Sleep Slot grabs it all. Great chairs, great fake plant as well. All right, we're gonna keep it on the low pro for just a second. We have ourselves a golf bag right here. There's a moving truck, but that looks like a nice golf bag straight down the pipe there. We're gonna actually gonna go in from this direction, snag that bad boy and get on our way. There was also a beautiful desk as well, but the moving guy stared right at me. I'm like, who cares? I'm gonna grab that anyway. That is a backpack stand bag. OGO, sorry, I'm trying to like do it with reverse selfie mode. Beautiful stand bag with backpack straps. That was a great pickup right there. I definitely will probably be back later on tonight to see if they're unloading some more action. We have a really nice condition box spring right here. The black, obviously, in the back. Beautiful condition, obviously, not this one straight in front of us. Can't tell if anything's in that fruit lay box or not. We got some really, really nice bar stools right here. Leather top, cherry wood. Very beautiful, solid wood. Two of them. There's two of them. Oh my goodness gracious, there's two of them. I got a full wooden dresser right here. One, two, three, four dressers with the drawers. Baby. It's kind of interesting, I just saw Gladys the Diver, and the reason I call her that is she actually lives in this complex that I'm diving at right now. And I just saw her on her three-wheel bike with the little basket in the back, and she was grabbing bottles and cans. And it seems a little strange to me that people would like be full-blown diving and only grabbing bottles and cans and not grabbing objects. But obviously, it's, it's two different money-making side hustles, right? Dumpster Diver Gladys is grabbing bottles and cans because that's guaranteed money. She just loads it up, takes it to the recycling center, bada-bing, bada-boom, and probably doesn't do eBay, where I do eBay, but I skip out on like the 20, 30 bucks of bottles and cans. So each person has a different side hustle. That's why sometimes you'll see a diver, but they leave vacuums behind. They leave entertainment centers behind, like myself, right? Some people are probably like, oh, hey, there's Chris, that diver again. What in the world? He didn't take that $200 Ikea dresser. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't put that in my Fiat 500 E baby. Come on, get some of that. What do you think? You think Maddie's kids want this little playhouse thing? It has a little guardrail and everything with a little pantry window. Whoa, how about that? I'm not exactly sure what is in those little boxes right there, but we see some nice garage shelving back right, those wooden little cabinets right back right there, and then we see something in a plastic bag. Uh, Trader Joe's bag with some boxes on the ground. Let's go in for a closer look for sure. Okay, I need to actually sit for a few minutes and look at the price of that. That was a full-blown, brand-new Home Depot Windsor window with screen windows. Probably triple pane. 
that has to be worth some big bucks. In the boxes were some like tile. I don't really exactly know what kind of tile. There were some people that actually came in the walkway and I'm like, ah, oh, I was just kind of just kind of wondering what that was. <laughs> I just saw somebody moving some action. I'm actually gonna whip my car in this little slot right here. We're gonna take a look at some of this action real quick. This guy's dropping product. Grab the gym mats and the guy's dumping more action. I still need to research what's up with that window for sure. Mr. Sleeps a Lot did not come for those chairs last night. Boo, Mr. Sleeps a Lot. Well, the plant is gone at least. Hey, all the chairs are still there, but the plant's gone. Hey, all the chairs are still there. All the chairs are still there. Alrighty, we have a beautiful Ikea chair just chilling right there, ready to be picked up. How about that? Let's go ahead and throw that in the Fiat Fiat 500. Look at this folks, it has a flat tire, but it is still summertime. And there is a beautiful women's beach cruise right here. Sure, it's probably like a brand new, like a hundred at Walmart, but still. And then we have a little Halloween costume right here. And there's actually something creeping behind that mat to the right. I'm gonna jump out real quick. A little fairy uh, October Halloween thingamabobber here. That bike is really nice though, but there's something about that mat. Let's go see what it is. Alrighty, Jay and I just creeped on a couple throwing away an Ikea queen bed frame. Let's go ahead and creep it real quickly. Let's roll on up. We got ourselves some foam right here. Look at that, folks. We got a vacuum. I don't think that's a Dyson. That's not a Dyson, folks. We got shelving unit, side rails, Ikea. It doesn't look like queen, actually. I take that back. Looks like a twin. How about that? Whole aisle with full action. Look what Jay just spotted right here, a beautiful lamp. I've never seen a lamp like that before. That has to be worth some dollar bills. Let's go ahead and slide that on in the surf rack. Huge bouquet of flowers. How about that? Scope this out. We got these doggy crates slash baby crates. I've seen like four of those today. There's some gym mats. More gym mats. I'm gonna replace some of my dirty ones. The gym mats are sitting right here on top of a little office desk. Awesome. Let's grab those gym mats. In my man cave, I have gym mats. Of course, you guys have seen that with my area carpet rug over the top. I just saw a uh, twin XL box spring right there. But in my man cave, I have some mats that are kind of dirty and nasty from the previous owner who was my old neighbor, who when he moved out, he dumped them. And I actually told him, I'm like, hey, I think I got your gym mats. And he's like, like, yeah, we had a gym in the garage when they had children. Just like Mr. Sleep Slot, he has a garage gym. Ooh, nice suitcase right there. But there's somebody right there. Hold up. So I'm going to replace a couple of the dirty squares with some nice clean ones. Well, 
that is amazing. Back-to-back days finding legitimate backpack stand golf bags. That was a Nike. That thing probably brand new, 80, 100 bucks. And then the OGO yesterday, it's turning out to be a great, great weekend. in the world were those things? They look like server racks. I might be walking away from a lot of money, but I'm not about to load those things up in the car. I didn't see any model numbers or anything like that, but that looked absolutely wild. That was racks and racks of something or other. Probably some expensive electronics in it. They might be 15 years old. I don't necessarily know. I did grab the blow up mattress we saw. So that's two blow up mattresses for the day. Hopefully I can get at least one good blow up mattress out of the two. They're either both gonna have no holes, one's gonna have a hole. Worst case scenario, they both have holes. This walkway right here looks prime, ready to go. We might be hunting for a while. I think that might be a desktop computer staring right at my face. Unfortunately, that's just the name of the game when you're dumpster diving at nighttime. You just can't see, unfortunately. Obviously, that was just a box. It wasn't a desktop computer. And it was a nice coffee table, though. Ikea, I think, coffee table. That was nice, though. Every day and every night. Every night. Every day and every night. Every night.